Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun Brussels sprout recipe. Um, it's not boiled or roasted, it's gonna be shaved, caramelized, with a little garlic, a little honey, a little chili, a little parmesan. Can't go wrong. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a mandolin. This is the key to getting it nice and thin, okay? I'm using Benriner, it's great. It's lasted me a really long time. I run it through a dishwasher and it's still sharp. I love it, okay? It's in the comments uh, or in the description uh, Amazon link, okay? Check it out. So I'm gonna take my Brussels sprouts and give them a really nice shave and you can definitely use a guard. It comes with a guard. I don't use a guard. I uh, like to live dangerously, you know? High risk, high reward. Uh, the reward is delicious Brussels sprouts. One last one. And also don't have to go this fast, okay? It's not a race. And then it's time for my fun cooking of my delicious Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna crank the heat. I want this nice and hot because we're gonna caramelize, okay? So I want nice color. I don't necessarily wanna cook it till it's mushy. I want texture. I like things with a little texture. So the way to test the hot pan, never with water, okay? Kinda dangerous. A lot of people do it, I don't know why. Test it with whatever you're cooking, which makes more sense to me. Okay, nice sizzle. That goes in, beautiful. I'm gonna use my knife. Perfect. All right. Whoop. And then for that perfect caramelization, you actually just wanna let it be, okay? You don't wanna keep stirring it. As you're stirring it, you're cooling down the pan, you're not gonna get that beautiful color we want, okay? All right, so I'm gonna have a look. Okay, okay, it's doing its thing. I'm not seasoning because the salt will draw out the moisture and then they will kind of sweat in their own juices, like hang out and get all sweaty, okay? We don't want that. We want it to crisp up almost, so we're gonna season at the very end. If you feel like your pan is drawing out, just add a touch more water. <laughs> just add a little olive oil okay so I'm gonna season it with a little chili or cayenne pepper just a touch we're gonna do a little garlic oh yeah okay give that a little oh yeah do you see that beautiful like it should be almost sticking to the bottom of your pan Really smelling that garlic, oh, so good. Now I'm gonna season it. Healthy pinch of salt, do you remember five finger pinch? Good crack of black pepper. Almost there. Okay, beautiful, I'm turning this right off. And at the very end, I'm gonna add just a touch of honey because we have garlic and we have chili and I just love the beautiful, like sweet and savory and a little salty, just a touch. Oh yeah, beautiful. Mmm. So good. Okay, look at this. Oh yeah, it's like, it's perfect because it's not overcooked. I hate mushy vegetables. I just, it's not, it's gross. So that goes in, it's a perfect side dish. And it goes well with everything, right? All right. And of course, because I love my Parmesan cheese, I'm gonna finish it with parm, okay? Never too much parm. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. This is so good and so easy. It's perfect for a salad topping. I love my salads. I love Brussels sprouts. It's a little unique. Recipe is in the description. Brussels sprouts. See you guys next time. <laughs>